A mother has spoken about the moment police officers knocked on her door to say her son had taken his own life. It became clear that after his death, 22-year-old Ben Brown had struggled with his mental health for a while. His mother says that spending more time on his own during lockdown intensified those feelings. Helen Hartree-Brown is now pleading with other families to talk early and often so that they don't experience the same pain and loss. She shared her story with Pablo Taylor in this special report. He helped people all the time, people who were low, people who were struggling. Ben knew that and Ben helped them. He was just Mr Personality. To everyone who knew him, Ben Brown was a happy and vibrant young man with an exciting future ahead of him. The 22-year-old was studying at Loughborough University, aiming to become an engineer in the army. But beneath the surface, Ben was also grappling with his own mental health, a battle that only intensified during lockdown. He was, he was trapped, trapped inside. He would take himself off on cycle rides, um, but again, he'd be on his own. And we now know Ben didn't like being on his own with his own thoughts, which is why he kept so busy all the time. When he was quiet, he, he struggled. Five weeks into lockdown, Ben, took his own life. Hours later, there was a knock on Helen's door by police. He just said there's been an incident, North Loughborough. So I knew it was Ben um, and I just hoped, I just hoped he'd had an accident. But then he confirmed he'd taken his own life. And that, that moment I, well, I'm, I screamed. Um, a sound came out to me that even now I can't even comprehend that sound came out of my mouth. Charities say the pandemic has made it more important than ever to talk about how we're feeling. They say loss of life, loneliness and economic hardship have contributed to a perfect storm for the nation's mental health. One which could get worse as we head into winter things that used to give life structure, they're all up for grabs now. We haven't got a new normal. So I think people who are struggling um, for whatever reason, um, those struggles, as I say, are just amplified and can really get quite overwhelming um, if, if you don't have you know, anything to root yourself to. At one point during the height of lockdown, a survey by the Office for National Statistics found that more than 70% of people asked said the pandemic had affected their mental well-being. Almost one in five adults were likely to be experiencing some form of depression, a figure almost double that in the period leading up to the lockdown. Bereavement, social isolation and financial worries were all major factors. Slowly but surely, Helen is managing to pick herself up, helped in no small part by the latest addition to her family. We get out, we take him for a walk, we, we meet other dog owners. I can't wallow in my own grief with Stanley because he needs me. He relies on us for his absolute everything, his, his total well-being is, is reliant on us. And it makes a huge difference to our mental health, just being outdoors. And on that subject of mental health, there's an important message. The only way it will get any better is by doing it, by talking about it. If you talk about it, it becomes normal. Um, instead of bottling it all up, it's, it's, not, it's not macho to keep it inside because there's a chance you'll end up like Ben. And I wouldn't wish that on anybody. Pablo Taylor, ITV News. Well, our thoughts are certainly with Helen's family. And if you are affected by any issues raised, then please head to itv.com slash Britain Get Talking slash support. And there you'll find help and advice services.